I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw King George III of England. I'm going to start right over here in the center towards the right and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw slightly curved line down, come back to the dot, slightly curved line out, in, down, and leave it floating. Come back to the left hand side and we're just continuing this line, slightly curved line out, in, down, up, and connect. I come back over here on the left hand side and I'm just going to draw a curved line out, down, out, wavy line in, and connect. I come right down here at the bottom. I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Right here at this point I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, curve line, up, connect, and an overlap, curve line down, up, connect. Inside this space I just do a wavy line. Okay. I come inside the center and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line in, little curve line up. I come over to the upper right, draw one curve line on the right, jump over, one curve line to the left. Come down below on the right, curve line up, back, connect on the right, curve line up, back, connect on the left. Inside put a little curve line on the left, two curve lines on the right. Come down here and let's put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line up, back down, up, connect. Okay. Alright. Come over here on the left hand side and we're just going to draw a little curve line out and connect. Come back down on this side on the left, curve line down, up, connect. Come back on the left again. Now we're going to draw slightly curve line down, big curve line up, big curve line up and connect. Right here we're just going to draw a curve line in, out, in, down, up, 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 connect. Now he's got on really fancy clothes and a lot of jewelry. So that's what this is going to turn out to be. So right here we're just going to draw slightly curve line down, curve line up, connect. Now we're going to mimic that line. Curve line down, up, connect. Right on the inside here we're just going to draw big curve line connect and now we're going to draw little curve lines keep going, keep going. This is a major chain necklace. Keep going, keep going. We're going to stop right there and let it float because now we come over here and we draw curve line up and right here we draw another curve line, curve line, connect. Now we come back over here and we draw curve line down, up, connect. We're going to draw a curve line out, down, over, connect. Now we're going to draw our chain all the way up, little curve lines, little curve lines, little curve lines. These are bows, so we're just going to put some zigzag, zigzag, this is a bow, zigzag, zigzag. I know he's 
wearing a lot of fancy clothes, but he is the king. All right, now we come down here at the bottom and we just go curve line, curve line all the way down to the edge of our paper, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay, now comes the fancy part. All of this, we're just going to put little curve line connect, little curve line connect, and I'll explain what those are in just a minute. Little curve line connect. That's one part of his rope. Then, this is also the same part. Curve line connect. Curve line connect. And you fill in this space also. Curve line. Curve line connect. And this is a continuation. Curve line connect. Okay. Now, come inside this space and draw one, two. One, two curve lines, one, two, jump over, one, two, one, two curve lines. All right, I think that's all. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, before we start coloring, I am going to label my picture King George the Third of England. Okay, now I get my colors. Okay, first off, he's extremely white. So we're going to just give him his blue eyes. He's wearing a white wig, so we leave that alone. He's got very pinky pink lips, so we're going to give that pink. Okay, then if you have... Multicultural crayons. Find the lightest face color you can. I think this is probably peach or apricot. And you only do this space that I'm coloring because he's got on a white wig. He's got on, this is all white linen. These are bows. All of these are bows. They're all white. This is pretty easy to color in. So the first thing we're going to do is color in this gold chain. I don't have gold, but I do have yellow, so I'm going to use my yellow. And you know this was gold with jewels and crusted gems because he is the King of England. Okay, then I'm going to color in this part yellow because this is like a heavy ribboned brocade. Okay, so this is yellow. And then in between, I'm going to take my brown and color these spaces in between. Brown. Okay. Then really, the only other thing you need to do is color in black all of these little closed shapes. And basically, what they're supposed to represent is that these are fur tails, like ermine tails. That's a kind of a, a little animal. And the whole entire cape or robe that he is on is made out of their fur with all these little tails. I know it's kind of gross, but back then they thought it was okay to wear fur. And that's it, because basically everything else is white satin. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, I think people forget, but King George III is super important. This is who we fought against in the Revolutionary War. He's known for having lost the American colonies. This is who George Washington was fighting against. And he also went mad, which in those days, was that he was mentally ill. And nowadays they think it might have been bipolar disorder. Okay, bye-bye.